minute my wife and I walked in, we couldn't believe the enthusiasm, the excitement surrounding the cars, and of course the children was just unbelievable. A lot of smiles. I don't know that I've seen as many smiles in one place in a long time, and it was tremendous. Everybody from the children watching their cars be built to the volunteers who were building them, everybody had a smile on their face. Everybody was excited about the mission, and we're just happy to be part of it. That was Go Baby Go, born and raised right here at University of Delaware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, enough, let's get to work. I have a big problem, you people. So, I watch a lot of TED Talks, and I know to have a high-impact TED Talk, you have to have a number slide. I'm halfway there to a high-impact TED Talk. We're gonna go through a story that's all about these numbers. Let's start with the number one. One represents several things. The number one represents the singular mission of Go Baby Go, a human rights organization that has one mission, to help you and everyone else on the planet co-create your life through mobility, social mobility, where you want to move, when you want to move, with who you want to move, how you want to move in the real world. One also represents the number of people that I currently am. One. And it reminds me to remind you how much impact can one person, one organization, one TED audience, one university really have? I'll submit and justify, not much, unless we collaborate. One also shows you the number of slides in my UD TEDx talk. Congratulations, you're at the beginning and the end at the same time. Okay, the next number represents the problem or the beginning of the problem. That's the number of cars per year that Go Baby Go in the 150 chapters currently modify for kids planet-wide. A thousand. Is that good? Is that impactful? Is that significant? How would we tell? Take a step back. By a show of hands, of clap, how many math nerds do we have? Math in the house? Anybody math? Math, yay, math. M-A-T-H, math. Yes, thank you, math. How about the number of people that want to have innovative, highly impactful, creative, wonderful lives? Yeah, oh, very good. So we've had lots of high impact talks. Um, afterwards, we'll still have another impact talk. We're basically a full room of highly impacted individuals. Google that, you'll have a Google. Um, but a thousand, is that good, bad, or ugly per year? Now, if I gave you a little bit of time, somebody would come forward and say, well, wait, that's the supply, right? What's the demand? That's that next number. 300,000 kids in the US alone could use these cars. Now, I didn't want to go worldwide. You know why? That would be millions. And I already have like a million level on my slide. So you can't go double million. That's, a, that's against TED Talk. But in the US, 300,000 is the number of kids' birth to three years old that early intervention services are provided for each year. 1,000 a year, 300,000. You will, I'm not a math magician, you cannot get there. So what do you do? And here's the pivot part of my story. I was trained to when I have difficult situations, professionally and personally, to dig into the reality. Not to go incremental, not to take a step back, not to back rationalize, but to dig deeper. So I'm gonna take out my magic wand. You do have a magic wand for your problem solving, right? And I dig deeper in the problem. Here's the problem. What we need to get that number is simply this. I need tens of thousands of builders supervised by thousands of supervisors. I need them all to have little mini manufacturing plants, workshops, if you will, to build, right? I need the community to buy in, maybe even to support this. And I need the culture to all be downhill and expect these workers to work passionately. And the workers need to work passionately. I have, remember we talked about this, I'm one person. 
I also have even less. I have zero capital for a manufacturing project worldwide. And you wouldn't want me to do it. I don't know anything about that. So what do you do? Well, the second thing I do after I take my magic wand out and, and dig into reality and not apologize for it and not hide for it, I start talking about it. And last year I went and presented to a couple of hundred people that happened to represent hundreds of thousands of potential manufacturing sites in the U.S. They were supervisors and supervisors of supervisors. I was talking to a K-12 STEM program conference, and I just said the silliest thing. Do you think we could together get there? Thank you. Wow. Rush the stage? I've never had that response. South Dakota, Southern California, South Carolina, South Florida, everybody in between. Do you have a curriculum? We need you. I need my K-12 STEM folks, science, technology, engineering, and math students to focus not so much on the technology, science, engineering, and math as the end, but as a means to an end. You came along with this silly little plastic cars. I need your curriculum right now. So that's what we did. We built a curriculum. The 74 million, by the way, is the number of US citizens under the age of 18. That's my workforce. Okay, everybody over the age of five. Okay, everybody over the age of three. Go Baby Go has many third graders building right now for their community, outstripping what the industry can provide and providing actual technology that leaves the building. But here's the kicker. It's leaving the building with crowdsourced manufacturing. Ooh, but Cole, you're a scientist. Well, when we put a small tracker that you built as part of your sixth grade STEM class underneath this Mars rover, then we send it home to Mars with a Martian, and you track that use and the cognition, language, socialization, and motor of the thing that you built that went out in the community. You get an A on your sixth grade report, I get big data sent back to Big Blue. Crowdsourcing. Now, underneath the hood, I love this, is the Middle School Matters brand. You do not have to wait till you're 400 months old to make a difference. We've sold lots of students, possibly in the audience, down the river of wait until you're something. You're already something. Kids building for kids. I'm going to leave you with my evil layer vision. You do have an evil layer that you retreat to to take over the world? OK. Maybe you don't. You need to. Um, I retreat to that evil layer, and I'm going to give you the vision of 15 years into the future. It has three simple vignettes. The first one is um, a Mars rover astronaut, the first person on Mars, a woman that's at a press conference going, I'd just like to thank a lot of people, mainly my sixth grade STEM class. I know everybody builds a Go Baby Go car as part of sixth grade. I did. I loved it. It turned me on to science and technology. Here I am saving everyone. The second one is a gentleman accepting the award for, I don't know, best building of all time. He's an architectural engineer. He didn't go into wellness or health like I do. He's not an engineer of that type, but he credits the high school STEM program in which he designed a three-in-one car that could be driven in sitting, standing, and walking to go out to his community. And he credits STEM education. Again, he says, everybody I know built a Lightning McQueen in the U.S., I was just one of the hundreds of thousands of kids that did it. And my last one's my favorite, because I'm a scientist. It's a scientist, and she's accepting the Nobel Prize. And she's thanking, again, that elementary school teacher that allowed her to build a little Lightning McQueen for a kid that couldn't move in her community, what that meant to her. And she was accepting the Nobel Prize for a very important thing to me. It's the seminal data that shows unequivocally that ice cream and vegetables are equally healthy. That's the vision of the world that I want to live in. I think we can all agree, right? So I'm going to leave you with that and take your applause, but I'll tell you, if you applaud, I will take it as a moral, ethical, and legal contract that you will quit your job and, and come and join us for the adventure of Go Baby Go. Thank you very much. Everybody clap now. Thanks.